Now we're nearing the end of the visit, and you've practiced making some effective deposits and not many withdrawals, with the goal of finding out if the patient's willing to consider our recommendations, and if they're not, what they are, what they are thinking about. We can start by summarizing the data we have so far from history, from our exam findings, from lab results or imaging results, and that leads us to uh, expressing what we think about the diagnostic situation is. But it's even more important to see how does this strike to the patient and are they buying into or in agreement with our findings so far. It's really important at this point to check in with them because the information we give them often can be too much. And if we're moving toward uh, recommendations of a plan, they have to take that information in too. So the important thing in this section, as you watch the demonstrations with uh, Ellen and Mike, is how are they delivering that information in a way that the patient can take it in. The skills that you will be shown and will practice for the next few weeks are summarize findings, review treatment options with patient involvement, and agree on plan. So Kathy, what I saw was a midline small sinus and it had a small abscess next to it where it was incised and drained. Well, what's a sinus? A sinus is a small opening in the midline where a hair has grown in rather than come out. Okay. So as we talked about before, the options for treatment here are to, to think about continuing conservative management versus going ahead and excising this in the operating room. Mm -hmm. What do you think would be the best way for you to go? Well, Dr. Bachman had me pretty worried about the fact that the cyst might return. So if I can choose today, I'd like to choose to have the surgery. I think that's actually a very good choice. So I'm gonna check your ears. And let's check your throat. Okay. So it does look like you have a sinus infection and maybe even a little early tonsillitis on that right side. So I'm going to have you take a deep breath. A deep breath over here. <coughs> oh, I do hear a little wheezing too. It seems to clear up after <coughs> you cough. Yeah. What I'd like to do, if it's okay with you, is go through a plan um, of medications uh, to help you feel better. And I think there's a couple things you need. I think you need an antibiotic to clear up your sinuses and your ear infection. You have very early tonsillitis, but the antibiotic should cover both of those. And we obviously won't use penicillin because we know that you're allergic or sensitive to it. Yeah, okay. Well, Does that sound okay? Sounds good, and I okay. really appreciate you going over that. Yeah, with you. then I think we also need to probably have you on some inhalers to decrease your wheezing, but also to calm down your airway inflammation, because I think some of the drainage from your sinuses is triggering these asthmatic symptoms that have been so troubling for you. Okay.